Hey y'all, Lynn Hale from New Life Legacy Farm. I am in my car, as you can tell, but I'm headed to the post office to pick up baby brawler chicks. I am actually, I'm really excited to be doing this because they were hatched on Monday and today is Wednesday. And this morning, they normally call me early in the morning to come pick them up. And when I called the post office this morning, because they had not called me, they had not received them yet. And I was like, so it's about lunchtime now when they just called me. I was like, I am on my way to pick them up. <laughs> the last time I ordered checks, I ordered some layer checks back in the spring of this year. And it was not the place. I get them from a place called Myra's Poultry up in Pennsylvania. And I've never had any problems with them at all. I've always been super happy with them. But when I got them, it was not their fault, but the post office fault. It took, it got hung up. They got hung up somewhere in the system. And I did not get them till like, I can't even remember how many late days after the hatch date. But basically, when they actually got to the post office, I went and picked up a hundred dead chicks. <laughs> but the good news now is when they called me just then, I could hear them all cheeping, which I was excited about because the last time I heard nothing. So I just picked them up and I'm excited. They all look alive, just looking through the box, looking through the holes in the box. So I'm happy to hear all of that cheeping noise. And I was like walking out and people were like, what do you have? They're like, and you know, and they realized that I had checks. They're like, they send those things in the mail? I'm like, they do. So let's go. Uh, the kids were supposed to have finished. We pretty much had the brooder ready. Grace was just gonna put the water and feed in there. This is an immune booster that we dip their uh, beets in first and then we dip them in some water with apple cider vinegar so that they we know they drink and then so that they know where the water is. very happy with this batch of chicks if they seem to be really healthy we did have one that died in transit but that it's much better than having all of them like they did last time so they've all had their we've all done the beaky dip and i think they're they all seem good so i made these things they're kind of dirty right now so we've been using them but they're things that you put in the shavings and then the chicks walk up on the wire to get their feed and water and so that it's elevated so they don't scratch shavings into the um, feed and water. And then also they have to walk on the wire to get to their feed and water so their feet are mostly clean when they get it. So it just helps the, to keep the feed and water a lot cleaner. This is the bigger one that I made. I have two smaller ones, but when the chicks get a little bit bigger, we'll put a big five gallon waterer on it in the brooder and then this is what we'll set it on. So again, yeah, we have found that when we start off with a really big water to begin with, we have some that actually will get in around it and have actually, they will die. Because they just sit in the water and then yeah, they'll drown. they get into the water. Something else that I wanted to mention about the brooder is you don't want a lot of drafts and wind, wind coming in where they can, well, it will get them. And we actually have made a brooder. It's actually an old feed room that my dad had uh, when he was growing up for the animals. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would be a perfect brooder so that's actually what we have turned that old feed room into a brooder and we do have a place like a semi window but it's like a board where that is open right now but if we need to shut it we can shut it um, especially on the really cold days we get it shut but on the really hot days if it's like 100 degrees i actually will have to open it we're gonna go in and hopefully finish up school because grace what do you got going on this afternoon gonna go practice shooting my bow because dad and I are going bow hunting this afternoon. So Grace has gotten a lot of deer with her rifle but she's never gotten one with a bow. Pretty excited. So Lee says that she's a pretty 
pretty good shot. So I'm up here on the deck of the treehouse where we usually shoot our bows and we've got all of our targets set up and Charlie is getting ready to come and um, shoot with me and we're gonna have fun. So from up here on the deck, the yellow target is at 15 yards, the uh, 3D deer target is at 20 yards and then the black target is at 25 yards. So I'm gonna shoot the yellow and the, the yellow target and the deer target. Um, I haven't gone past 20 yards right now, but I'm pretty comfortable shooting there. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little practice today. And Charlie is with me. Y'all, I got the four most important things. Release, bow, arrows, and my relight. Dead deer. Hey, All right, got our arrows. Time for another round. All right, that round was one perfect shot and then two okay ish shots. So it's going to keep going. Okay, so we just finished. Um, I was shooting a little bit low and left, but then I started using my 20-yard um, sight on the 15-yard target and the 25-yard sight on the 20-yard target. So then I started hitting good, except it was still a little left. So we're just gonna move my sights and I think we'll still be good to go tonight. Grace and Lee have left to go bow hunting and guess who I have with me to do evening chores, but... RJ. I think Charlie said that he would probably rather stay inside and fix his dinner. I think he's going to fix some dinner. We'll put maybe some tuna that him and Lee caught at the beach. But, Laura Jane and I had to make a pit stop when uh, we were doing chores. Laura Jane. Grapes. We had to eat some grapes. Delicious? Mm -hmm. So, I'm teaching mom how to get the cows over here with the food. Okay. And me did it the other day. Okay. Okay, so you're showing me this is how you and Grace put maple up so mm -hmm. we can milk? Mm -hmm. And I told the cows that we had food, but we actually did Okay, so how do you call the cows? Here, mama cow. That's how you and Grace do it? Mm -hmm. See how Mia's coming? Okay, but who do we want to put up so we can milk? Maple. Yeah, maple's who we want to pick, put up. So, Laura Jane only actually comes with Grace to put up maple and in the evening so we can milk, and she is... Uh, showing me what they do and do their routine. I'm looking at one of the cows. Laura Jane has got alfalfa and she's coming in like it's hot. <laughs> hey. But that's not the one we want. And Laura Jane is running her off. <laughs> Wish I had a video of that. She's so proud of herself. So I'm taking her and I made her get away. You made her go away? Mm -hmm, because this is not her pen. It's maple, so we can eat crunch tomorrow. So we'll have more milk every single day. Yep. And you love the milk, don't you? Yeah. She's chasing Mia away. That's who we don't want. All right, Lord Jane. How are the chicks looking? Good. They look good, so we've come to check on them. Just got through putting maple up. I wish she was a little bit more scared of some of the cows. Like she's running after them and they're running towards her and not. Nah. All right, stand. We're in the stand for Grace's first bow hunting. And she got her bow. Right here. Wow. Like the stinger ready to go. Sitting here like all these. you guys just saw was from Wednesday. Today is Sunday. We did not get anything on Wednesday. Um, we just saw three deer and they stayed for about five seconds a piece. Not even enough time for me to hardly stand up. So we didn't get anything Wednesday night but we're back going to the same spot and dad put out some corn 
to hopefully slow the deer down. Um, and it kind of missed and raining, but I think it's a good thing because deer usually move a lot after the rain and it's slowing down. So what do you think, Dad? We're going after them. I have a good feeling. It's brown. It's down. It's down. Pretty girl in here, her new camo get up. Pants, boots, bow. Same pretty girl. <laughs> 